Hi travelers and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to take a day trip outside of London, England and we are heading to two incredible places. We are going to Hampton Court Palace and the Stonehenge. So I'm going to take you along on our journey. The great thing about both of these places is that they can be easily done on a day trip outside of London. London is a great city, but it's also really, really good to get out of the city and see more of what England has to offer. So if you're looking for a really nice day trip, I highly suggest going to one of these places or even both of them as we did in a day. But we actually found that we had the perfect amount of time to fit both of them in a day. So it is really just up to you and what is your time limit and, um, what you're capable of fitting into a day, but this is what we did for our day trip outside of London. So the first place we're going is Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court Palace is famously known to be a Tudor palace, and it was the home of King Henry VIII and his very famous wives that I'm sure many of you guys know and have heard of. And I was really, really looking forward to going to this palace because I am a huge Tudor fan because I love learning about the Tudors and I think that this period of history is just so fascinating. So this was really high on my list. So the first thing we did at Hampton Court Palace was grab a map and an audio tour. So the audio tour was absolutely incredible. Incredible. It had to be one of the best audio tours I have personally ever done before. This tour is also super immersive and they have a ton of like specials that you can listen to as well if you have the time. And I learned so much by doing this. So like I said, Tudor history, especially King Henry VIII and his wives, is one of my favorite time periods to learn about in history. And I really did learn so much by doing this audio tour and also speaking with the palace workers. I highly suggest taking advantage of the people that are standing around inside of the palace and asking them questions and getting to know like what you're looking at. They just have such a different perspective. Um, and you can learn a lot from these people because they know like the secrets and just like a lot of different history that may not be like seen. I always suggest to ask those people if you're in any type of like castle, palace, or um, museum. Okay, so this little thing right there is the only remembrance of Anne Boleyn in the entire castle after her death. King Henry tried to erase, you know, her existence, and they ended up missing this little A right here because it's so tiny, and I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we just got finished with the tour, the audio tour inside. Now we are going to be walking around the Royal Gardens, which I'm really excited for. This palace is absolutely beautiful and large, and you can honestly spend hours <laughs> roaming around here. I could have spent, seriously, an entire 24 hours just walking around this palace, so definitely give yourself ample time to look around, get to know the history on a different level, and just like really taking in this experience. Something that I love to do when I am at a historical site, especially at a place that means like a lot to me is just like putting myself in that place and realizing that so much history has been done at that place and like what the walls have heard and seen is just so cool to think about and I just really really loved my experience at Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court Palace is about 50 minutes to an hour outside of London so it's a super easy day trip where you don't have to venture too far if you don't want to um, but it's super accessible and you can easily do it in a day. All right guys so apparently this is the largest vine in the entire world. And it covers the roof of this entire place. Wow. That's where the roots are. It's amazing. All right, we just got finished with our time at Hampton Court Palace. It was so beautiful. 
highly suggest it, especially if you're into Tudor history. Uh, so wonderful. Anyway, we are off to our next spot. The second stop on our trip was the Stonehenge. So I'm sure everyone has heard of the Stonehenge. It is very cool, as touristy as it is. I knew that this place was going to be really touristy, and so did my husband, but he had learned about it in school and just really wanted to see it in person so we could cross that off of our bucket list. And I'm really glad that we did because I think we did it in a way that was really, really wonderful. Um, we actually went later in the day, about two hours before they were like closing down. So honestly, barely anybody was there. It was also a beautiful sunny day. Um, so we got to take advantage of how beautiful the weather was with barely anyone there. And we, we almost had the whole place to ourselves, other than just a few different families. So it was quiet. It was really wonderful. And I, it was just so cool to see this in person, considering how many times I've seen this like on video, on in pictures, and just to see it in person it was really, really cool. So I highly suggest um, if you're gonna go, make sure you time it out right. Stonehenge is only about two hours outside of London, so it's also a really great thing to see if it's just a day trip outside of London. You can easily get there. If you aren't driving a vehicle, then you can also easily get a tour. There's a ton of tours that go to the Stonehenge, so if that's something that's more your speed, you can definitely do that route as well um, there's just like tons of options to go see the Stonehenge so if you're in the area I think it's a great thing to see uh, just to like see it in person and cross that off your bucket list and uh, just enjoy the history that's around it so I highly suggest it so there you go folks that is Hampton Court Palace and the Stonehenge both are wonderful ideas to do on a day trip outside of London if you want to get out of the city see more of the English countryside see more of like English history and just see more of England in general I highly suggest getting out of London if you're able to uh, just to see anything um, and these are really great options to do so and they're really accessible for all sorts of people so I really highly suggest it. Um, we had amazing time and we also had amazing weather so that really was so delightful um, but we really enjoyed our time at Hampton Court Palace and the Stonehenge. Obviously there's so many places that you can go in England that is a great day trip outside of London but this is a great start if this is your first time going to England and really wanting to get out and see a little bit more. Anyway, that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it to all your friends. Get the word out there, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to join the family. All right, guys, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, and happy travels.